Coho is all curious now because the coffee bar is a new thing in the house. And you guys know how cats feel about new things. Keep your nose out of there, it's kind of hot. You want some coffee too? I wonder if they have coffee for kitties. I suppose I could brew some catnip juice and see if he likes that. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Maybe I should. I'm going to look it up. See if anyone on Pinterest has ever done such a thing. Have you guys ever made catnip tea? <laughs> he is such a curious boy. I love curious animals. It shows that they have their little brains working full time and that they're personable and that they care. Now that's what I call a beautiful morning. The starlings are eating the berries off of our crab apple tree. And uh, so it's that time of year where the starlings move in and hang out. I don't even know what a starling is, but I looked it up and that's what that bird is. Look at how hard he works to get those berries off that tree. Anyway, it's a beautiful morning to just exist. In fact, I'm more than just existing. I'm living. I love it. Well, I ventured over to Sam's Club this morning because this store is closing abruptly and they put everything down to 50% off. And this, the line here wraps all the way around to the back of the store. And it turns out that this is about a two hour line, two hour wait out in 14 degree temperatures. Someone even parked in the fire lane is getting themselves towed. According to news stories, 10% of Sam's Club stores are closing across the nation. That's about 60 stores. And uh, the Wholesale Club is changing some of these buildings into e-commerce um, warehouses. Well, enough of this. Back to the cats, where it's warm. Good morning, Coda. This is our laziest cat. He's very docile. He's a big bucket of love is what he is bucket of snuggles yeah he just sits around that's all he does it's very rare to see him chase anything although the birds get him excited he'll sit in the window and kind of bat at the window a little bit for the birds but that's for him that's expending tons of energy but he sure does love to snuggle he loves to take care of the other two cats he's a great caretaker he's the most gentle cat i've ever met Yes, lovable boy, aren't you? Hi there, big guy. Yeah, you're looking for a more comfortable place to nap for the next two hours. After napping for two hours prior to that. I was sitting here petting Coho and look who just jumped up and laid her head down right next to us and then just gave, a, gave out a great big sigh. Like, oh, like she was so relieved to be here. I worked the night shift last night, so I was gone all night. And now Sadie is glad we're home. I'm sitting by the fire. Oh, you, you comfy. So we never allowed Sadie to be on the couch until the past few months because of her arthritis. She's 12 years old, 12 and a half, and she's starting to really feel her age. So rather than seeing her limp after sitting on the hard floor, we actually let her jump up on the bed or on the couch here. She doesn't sleep in our bed. She's far too big, but she does have a most extravagant dog bed both here and uh, in our room. And up at the lake, we have two dog beds for her. Plus, we allow her to use Amanda's bed at the lake. 
and we have a living room bed. So, Sadie, we own four doggy beds for you. Are you spoiled? Yes, we take good care of the old pooch, huh? Yeah, she was playing, though, tonight. Playing very nicely. Getting her energies out. She's got cabin fever. And Coho wants to snuggle with me. He makes the most out of body heat. Oh, yeah, are you sweet? Yeah. You want the kitty? You want Coho to snuggle with you? Keep you warm? 